Jeez, this place is a mess. I've just been like editing pretty much non-stop for, for weeks now. Kind of going a tiny little bit crazy, uh, but I've been spending so much time right here behind my computer. Just so much time. Uh, but one thing that's really exciting is I've been working on the Slack Life BC web series that I've been uh, that I shot in the summer, and now I'm actually getting to like edit it and put it together, and uh, I'm making great progress. So I'm not quite at the point where I'm like, "Woo, this is gonna be amazing!" But it is gonna be amazing, and I just have to trust that uh, building a story is gonna work. Uh, I'm trying to think of what things have been going on, but I I got some footage edited, um, got kind of a show reel shot it's about 20 minutes of like uh pretty epic footage and i'm actually gonna head out and go camping with the slack life guys tonight out in squamish to kind of close off our year and just have a good hangout tonight so i'm bringing some of this footage and i'm really excited to show the guys uh so we're gonna be leaving the studio here but uh yeah another thing that's pretty exciting that i want to show you here is i got this microphone from road the good uh the good folks over at road hooked me up with this microphone to help make uh better screencasts and tutorials and also voiceovers and stuff like that. So really excited about this microphone and I have some tutorials coming. Actually, there might be one released by the time this vlog comes out. Not sure, but uh, I would love to hear your requests on other sort of screencast or tutorials I can do. And I'm gonna hopefully be doing more live streams. One more quick thing, I almost forgot. You can now buy your own Life's Better When You Make Stuff swag. You can actually buy yourself a Life's Better When You Make Stuff poster. And this is like a gorgeous poster. I should make a video just about this poster because it is beautiful. Matte black, oh, it's so nice. Uh, but you can also get t-shirts as well. I'm just so hyped about this. You don't understand, this has been like a dream of mine since I was a kid to like sell shirts. Like it's, it seems so silly, but it makes me so happy that it's come to life. And I have so many shirts, like check this out. We got so many options. There's this wonderful sweater. We got Life's Better When You Make Stuff black shirts. We got Life's Better When You Make Stuff three quarter sleeve shirts. We got Life's Better When You Make Stuff cranberry shirts. Check that out. So obviously shipping right now in the holiday season is a little crazy, but if you want one, go to lifesbetter.co and that'll take you to the shirts. Would love it. That's a great way to support what's going on here. But uh, that's enough of me talking. Let's go to Squamish. I'm pretty sure Squamish is in that direction. Mamquam Forest Service Road. Here we go. We're here in Squamish, driving down the Mamquam Forest Service Road. Pretty, uh, well-known Forest Service Road here in Squamish where a lot of people go in van camp uh, and live throughout the summer, especially when they're climbing. And this is where we kind of stayed primarily while shooting in the summer um, in between going up the Chief and things like that. But uh, I now need to drive eight kilometers down this road and uh, that's where I'll find our camp spot. And the road just got more fun. This is now the furthest down the service road I've driven. And I think, I think I'm going the right way. Not entirely sure, there's been a few branches off. And there's not really cell, cell phone service out here, but uh, we'll find it. Oh my gosh, I just, I just pulled my drone out of the water. I'm so lucky, that was crazy. I was just like, I had the drone set up for this shot where I was driving across the bridge and like everything was going fine and I had done a bunch of shots already. And I like do it and I'm like looking at the image while I'm driving and it's like, looks good, looks good. And I like get done driving and I look at my image and it's just blank. And I'm like, oh no, the controller disconnected. 
So like hop out of my vehicle and like run just up there trying to get the controller reconnect. Nothing, like absolutely nothing. And that makes like no sense because we're like within like a couple hundred meters of where the drone just was. So I was like freaking out. I was like maybe I like hit a branch when I didn't look. And so I thought it just dropped into the water. So I started like running down the riverbank with the controller. I was like freaking out. <laughs> And I was like, well, I guess the drone's gone, but like, I can't just like, I can't just like leave it at that. I gotta like look longer. So I like put it there and maybe like three, four minutes had passed. And I knew on my controller I had five minutes of battery left. So I figured maybe it like started flying back to where I had started flying. I was so confused. I like started running in the bushes there, like literally right there. Like, here's the van. I ran in the bushes there. Like, at the corner of my eye, I see the drone just, like, lowering. I, like, I was standing right here, and the controller wouldn't connect. I was standing on that bridge, and the controller wouldn't connect with it, and it, apparently it was just right up above me. lands right in the river and just like floats down to me oh that was so sad and yet so happy all at the same time it was like that moment where the drone's still flying and I'm like oh my gosh my drone's alive and then oh my gosh my drone's gonna self land in the water my controller wouldn't reconnect <gasps> crazy well that was good fun got the drone back I'll have the footage I'll show you the shot where it goes underwater definitely one way to get your adrenaline pumping holy smokes like that was so bizarre. I was like, why the heck did it disconnect? And what's going on? And then I just like accepted the fatality that it was dead. And then I like went back to look like that one last time. You know when you just gotta look one more time? And I see it just coming out of the air. What the heck? Well, uh, here's the campsite. All the vans are right there. So I'm assuming they're just camping down here. There's snow out here. Oh, here's their campsite right here. This looks this looks pretty epic. What in the world is going on here? We're doing a redneck hot tub. This actually looks amazing. Yeah, I know, right? It's actually well, it's getting warm. The progression is going to pick up very fast from here. So there's a copper coil in there. Okay, so we dig a hole. A water pump there. I actually have some footage that explains all of this. I tried to do a how-to video, but. As you make a hot tub and start drinking, the how-to video gets more and more <laughs> hilarious. But basically, you pump it from the river into this hole that we dug here. We've got a submersible pump okay. and a long enough piece of hose that basically we lay out the hose and you see where we can fill it up. And then you dig a big hole or you make it out of logs or rocks and stuff, throw the tarp in it. And then now we're just cycling the water from the tub through the copper coil and then back into the tub. It's actually getting pretty warm right now. It's gonna be good. This is actually the biggest tub we've made yet. This is so magical. They are so set up out here. <laughs> getting warm? It's warm. What's that? Yeah. There's you. Yeah. I'm the Fresh Prince. Wow. Up on the Chief. So this beauty made it made it down to Utah and back, eh? Man, it's never run so good now. Really? But you see the red sand? <laughs> it's gonna stay there as long as I can keep it. I bet I've got pounds of Moab in here. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. We have a TV. <laughs> Our premiere last year was a little bit bigger, but this year it's gonna be a little bit more personal. Yeah, last year at this time, literally tomorrow last year, and we had the premiere of Untethered, and uh, that was such a magical time. And this year, because we shot later in the year, and because we're doing a series and not a film, things yeah, are a little... Yeah, because Levi's lazy and just... I don't know what he does with this time. So 
So we're taking camping to the next gotcha. level. And um, over time I've perfected the hot tub rig, which is really cool. So I'm plugging in everything to the same generator that the hot tub is now running off of. Part of this everything is a 32 inch LCD. Now I'm in a hot tub, next to the river, next to my TV, with all my friends, next to the fire. What's next, on the TV? Mm, we're doing a premiere. <laughs> this is the, the official premiere. The official premiere. The unofficial official. That nobody knows about and it's just us. It's perfect. This is better this way. This is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Spencer's crazy. Spencer's not crazy. I need to think about this. For not crazy. Not crazy. I think not I'm relatively crazy. normal. Hot tub complete. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about. We missed a couple of steps. We did? Well, I was like doing a how-to video and oh, by yeah. the time it actually got good, I don't think I was in any state to... So the final steps, just rage! Enjoy the crap out of it. Yeah. Yeah, the sweet premiere, man. That was like the most personal, warm premiere I've been at ever. Amazing. I haven't been to many, so it doesn't mean much, but... And my clothes are still wet. My shoes are still really wet. But your soul is warm. But my soul is warm. <laughs> my inner stove has been stoked. <laughs> oh man, yeah. you killed it. Oh, that was good.